Welcome brothers and sisters. So just quickly, what I wanted to say, two things. Number one, I start all my videos with Shalom. I end my videos with Shalom. And yes, I do speak peace over you and your loved ones and your family, which is the essential basic meaning of the word Shalom. If you dig deeper into my videos from way back a few years ago, I do a breakdown on the actual meaning of Shalom from the Hebrew letter for letter, the same way that Rock Island Books does. But to give you a very short explanation on that, Shalom, when you break down the letters, literally has a message embedded in it, which is not really peace on you. It means destroy the authority connected with chaos and confusion. God must please come and destroy the authority connected with chaos and confusion. That authority connected with chaos and confusion is running the world right now and preparing it for the end times. And every time I say shalom, besides the peace I wish to you and your loved ones, I am speaking over that authority, destruction by God over that authority connected with chaos and confusion repeatedly, time and time again, because my hope is in him. And I know how the story ends. I've read the final chapter. He wins. This is a fact. There was a, a skydiver. I, I've, I've done skydiving. Love it. Absolutely love it. If you haven't, give it a shot. There was a skydiver a while ago. Luke Akins jumped from 25,000 feet without a parachute. He fell the 25,000 feet into a net that they'd prepared. Big, massive net that caught him. Now, what people don't realize is at the speeds, the terminal velocities you achieve falling from that height. I mean, he even had to use oxygen in the first part of his fall. He was so high. The terminal velocity you reach, if you go off even slightly by just a slight turn, the gap you're going to miss on the ground is huge. And the speed you're coming in with, you can't make a lot of difference changes there. So why am I telling you about this? Because for me, I'm, I'm like Luke Akins. I've jumped without connection to the world, without a parachute that can pull me back into my old life, with nothing but the word and the promise and the truth that God's got me and he's going to catch me in the end. Living by faith, moving with him towards that target, and that target right down there is waiting for me. And I'm not deviating a millimeter from that path. My eyes are on Jesus. No matter what's happening around me. I'm watching. And I know he's got me. And he's going to catch me in the end. And that's it. Committed. There's no going back now. We're heading that way. And it is glorious. Eyes focused on him. Not on the storm. Keep looking up. Keep focusing on God. He has got you. No matter how hard it is, he will get us across that finish line. God bless and shalom.